In a community called the Boyd, three very nosy women are about to discover powers they never dreamed they had. I had to come home from work early because I was pretty shook up. I have been attacked day after day, morning, noon, and night. I hope I can get noodles in here. Now, the man they love to torment is coming. I don't know what's wrong with him mentally. I don't know. To confront them. It's not a joke. This is really serious. Uh, this is all going to be me proving them wrong. Men are no longer men. He's got no life but live streaming. It's pure hate. A lot of men are trash. A lot of men don't know how to treat women. The Botter account is ran by Noodles. This is something that has to be done to prove once and for all that I'm not lying. Last night's stream that he had up was so vile and disgusting. The Witches of the Boyd. The immaturity level is unreal. I mean, Noodles is 40. It's like Noodles is on some kind of high. I think men have failed themselves. I thought that Noodles was trying to bait me. Get Noodles over here. I'm like, what? Witty Widow, Magda, and Life with Linda, the Witches of the Boyd. So, Tiger, I really don't care what you say about me. What you think about me, Tiger? You can hate me, Tiger. I don't care. Fuck them hoes. So, Lolly, stop with your lies. Say you don't support shit that you do. For real. So, Lolly, you can stop lying and say you don't support what goes on on Tiger's panel because you do it, Lolly. So, call me whatever you want, you Tiger. Call me evil, call me a stalker. No! Call me whatever. Your shit's out there. Your shit is online, bitch. <laughs> but it's my people that hate me. One is called Lolly. One is called Tiger. Bam! You want to live the bad way and be a troll and be nasty and have pom-poms on? Rooting on some fucking shysty, shady, shenanigan motherfucker. All these little fucking prick motherfuckers who dirty delete their comments. Bam! I have no problem with nobody on YouTube. Really, nigga? If Ty wants to hate me because of his friends, I don't care. Abby, I do not want you. Why are you trying to act like I want you so bad and I'm stalking you? That's so far from the truth. I will shoot your fucking ass. Do you hear me, motherfucker? I don't like you at all. Do you hear me? You're mean inside and out. Stay the fuck away, bitch. Are you insane? And then you want me dead? You stalk me? You're in my life all the time? You won't leave me alone? You don't fuck with me. You don't come in my shit. You are so beneath me that you can't even contend. So now you want to try to thwart the great king? This is going on long enough. This ain't fucking even funny anymore. It's not even like a joke anymore. This is like some very creepy shit. Stay the fuck away. I don't care. Abby, stay away from me. I don't need you. I don't want you. You're mean inside and out. You're nothing to me. If I wanted you, I would be pursuing. You creepy motherfucker. I'm so far out of your league, I don't want nothing to do with you. Do you hear that? You need to release all that hatred because you're a devil, a demon. No! And you know who I am? And I'll always be your king. Shut your fucking dated big goddamn mouth. That's the best thing you can do for yourself. You hey guys, it's Noodles and Tino. Say hello, Tino. What a prince, yeah. Anyway, guys, um. Shut the fuck up. Bobby's dog doesn't look this cute. Uh, Bobby's dog looks like, um, it's been, uh, harassed and abused all its life. I'm like precious Tino. Shut the fuck up. Tino, tell everyone what's up. Tell everybody that you hate Bobby. That Bobby's a loser. Yeah. T Tino doesn't like Bobby. Tino knows when danger's about, when losers step foot in his presence. Um, Tino scoots, skedaddles. Shut the fuck up. Bobby McNutt. 
You're still not at a thousand subs. It's October 22nd, 2020. You said that you would be well over a thousand and fully monetized by now. Shut the fuck up. So again, guys, uh, Bobby McNutt lies to you. Bobby McNutt lets you down once again. Uh, it's not Noodle's fault. It's your fault for believing in him. He's a scumbag. Shut the fuck up. Anyway, guys, um, see you later. Tino rules. Bye. Also, middle. I'm sorry, guys. Me and her is just not compatible. Shut the fuck up. She is way fucking out of control, and there's nothing I can do. You have no life. She, she uh, came after me and assaulted me. What the fuck? Hit me upside the head, you know, come after me and all. Chris. Get out of here, you won't be gone. I, I'm just, I just can't deal with it, guys. Shut the fuck up. My family told me they was gonna throw me out of my house. No! If she didn't leave, what? you know. I done called the police to get that bitch out of here. She's just out of control, guys, I'm sorry. I thought I was doing a good deed by picking her up, bringing her to North Carolina. Hey, Doc, who are you talking to? Shut the fuck up, bitch. You know, she come after me and I had to basically disappear. You told like a shit. She'd been all right until she, she'd been begging me to buy her a phone all day. Get that bitch out of here now. I know, I know. Oh, what's going on? What's going on? I haven't had any kind of sexual intercourse or nothing with her. This is Boyt News, and we have reports of UFOs in San Diego. Here to tell us more is the Puppet Man. God damn, man. You fucking people, I swear to God. I love fucking bashing you dumb fucks because you leave yourself open to it. You and your fucking equal rights bullshit. Take that shit and shove it right up your stupid ass. The narrative is built around one dumb broad. I mean, that clearly thinks she's entitled to something. She's not. Pharrell. So it's okay for Fod to go around calling people whatever she wants. It's okay for her to do it. And you stupid bitches are over here white nutting. Use your fucking head a little bit here. Bob doesn't have a cock, because she's a woman. All of these games we play, I can't even keep them all straight. I don't just change who I am one day and say I'm something I'm not. Yeah, I, I, I bang some chicks in the butt. Yeah, baby. <laughs> yeah. But I have pounded some bitches in the ass. If I'm going to be continued to be called a poon abuser, well, I'm going to continue to call someone a woman because that's what they are and a bully because that's what they do. They go on other people's panels and they call people stupid hillbilly whores. Playing these games. Slob on my knob, baby. Oh, behave. See, you women are so goddamn dumb sometimes. You don't even think about shit. There's evil people in the fucking world. You know what? I'm not one of them. I've never put my hands on a woman. And I've been slapped. I've been punched. I've been kicked. I've even had a couple bitches try and run me over with their car. I never once put my fucking hands on them. I could give a shit less about someone's sexual preference. I don't give a fuck who people sleep with. I could give two shits in a buck. I just don't care. And yes, she did do something wrong, you stupid cunt. She's not gonna call me something I'm not. Not this motherfucking guy. I ain't like anybody any you motherfuckers have ever met in your life. I'm one of a fucking kind, and that's the way it goes, baby. I got somebody I'm gonna go meet in a few minutes down down the road here. I'm not I'm not up for no goddamn bullshit today. Who are you talking to right now? I don't bother one fucking goddamn son of a bitch. Do you know how much I make a year? Look over yonder. What do you see? The sun is rising. Most definitely. A new day is coming. Ain't it beautiful? Ooh, ooh. 
Sorry, bastard ass bitch. Threatening my life, causing drama. I don't bother nobody. You don't tell me where I can't travel, asshole. For real. I could travel any goddamn where. And if I want to meet a beautiful woman and have sex. Yeah, baby. <laughs> and fall in love with them. That's my business. Good God, people. Get out my nutty sack. Get out my nutty sack. Get out my nutty sack. Does your little secret need to come out of the closet? Do I really need to put out who you really are? He's a fucking female. No. Oh, yeah. Then why you playing with them? Then why you playing with them? Then why you playing with them? And they got two choices to back the fuck off of me. Or I will... I will put all their fucking shit out there. And I don't know nothing about it, but I learned. All right, I'm out of here. Get out my nuts, Get out my nuts, I'm in a really good mood, given everything that's going on. I feel pretty good today. She a lady in the streets and a freak in the sheets. I know. I know. But if it's got to do something with naked ladies, you can bet the poos in. You put fruit up your butt. You put vegetables up your butt. You are one dirty lady. I like it. I'll put it to you this way, I never met a woman that stayed in Poom's world, you know, at least more than a month that didn't take it in the booty hole. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Anything happened in Poom Palace, I'll tell you that. Anything can happen up in Poom Palace. I want to do bad things with you. You know, I've tongue punched some fucking fart boxes in my day. Women's only. And it might sound gross, but it's fun. It's fun. You know, I did, I did make sure to smell it first, make sure there was no, uh, no, uh, you know, dirtiness going on down there. <laughs> How do two gay dudes butt fuck each other when one of them's got a prolapse anus, by the way? What the fuck? No! No! Putting locks of 69 for himself, but it's kind of harder on the women. For real. I, I'd much rather just bury my face down in the muff and get it down on it. Oh, behave. I want to do bad things with you. I like me a dirty woman, boy. Yeah, baby. Yeah. I like my women just a little bit on the trashy side. You know, not full on. Not full on. Gotta have some class now. Gotta have some class. I do like burying my face down in some muff, boy. Let me tell you. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You want me to fucking eat that pussy later, baby? So, uh, how about you say, you know, after we eat dinner and put the kids to bed, you give me some of that pussy pie for, uh, dessert. You have to want to do it. You know, it's not nothing that you just go down there and do. You gotta want to please somebody doing that stuff. Yeah, baby. <laughs> I would like to do her. But uh, y'all have a great day, and we'll see you later. Thank you. I want to do bad things with you. We now return to Vetter Call Saul. I'm gonna take a gag order out on her. I'm, I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it. She wants trouble. I'm going to go to my lawyer 
and I'm gonna file charges against her, and she's gonna leave me the fuck alone. Okay, so tell me exactly what happened. People want to come in my channel and cause conflict with me. They want to fucking make fun of my life. They want to cause trouble with me, and I'm tired of it. Were you on drugs? No, I'm not going to see Lisa. I'm completely tired of the fucking shit with everybody causing drama. Everybody wants to fuck with Rich Life and cause trouble with Rich Life. And I'm tired of it. And I'm going to do some demolition work in my bedroom. No, God, please, no, no, no. What is love? You little fucking trolls out there and everybody else out there, you would have fucking shit on him fucking three years ago, dummy. And I don't know nothing about it. Come on. He's banned from my channel. I'm not dealing with his fucking bullshit no more. Big motherfucking Billy O. Just like Carlos, been jacking me all day long. Caught in like a fisherman's net, you know what I mean? Like David Fisherman, that motherfucker. I'm like caught with them people. He blocks me for no reason, so I can't talk. I don't have no trouble with nobody on YouTube. And then I got, I got worried up. And I say it very bluntly, like, listen, I don't have a problem with no motherfucking people, you know? For real. But I get shit on, and I don't even know what I'm doing wrong. I hate to say it, guys, I'm not, I'm not gonna deal with this bullshit no more. What is love? Fine, I like playing my music, smoking weed a little bit, drinking a little bit, doing whatever I got to do. But I don't need all this shit, man. I do not need nobody babysitting my fucking ass. Okay, this ain't the first person I've met from YouTube. Okay, so everybody calm down. These people don't never want to leave nobody alone. Really, why do you people keep coming in here bothering me? You rogue mod motherfucker. Fuck them hoes, bitch. What is love? Baby, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. No more. Hey, I'll tell you right to your motherfucking face how I feel, okay? Certain people want to fuck around, lying. I don't even know what the hell they're talking about. I ain't never quitting YouTube. I don't care who causes trouble. I will never quit YouTube. I just said I'm gonna fuck them and have babies and get married. I mean, what, how, how's that leading somebody on? I love it. <laughs> I know who my rogue mod ass is, Carlos. A fucking troll. <laughs> Four damn cases of fucking dot, dot Pepsis. Come on. And some fucking money. Oh my God. Oh my God. I cannot believe that. Some straight like you giant stick up his ass. I found a hundred dollar bill in Walmart's parking lot this morning. Where's my money, bitch? And then I stop beside the road back there and I find him some, some more money. Not mess with me. I will bury you because I'm crazy. Woo! Bitch, 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 bitch. I ain't gonna show nobody how much it is because I know people go run their fucking mouth. It's weird is all, okay? It, it doesn't compute. Well, I don't know. All I know is it was blowing around in the parking lot at Walmart. Where's my money, bitch? No, I'm not greedy. That's something I need to know about, okay? I mean, that, that affects me. You are being greedy. Where's my money, bitch? You know, it was out in the parking lot. It was fair game. See, this is why, this is why I don't tell people everything that I find. What? It ain't nobody's business what I do in life. Where's my money, bitch? I ain't gonna keep asking nice. It didn't have nobody's fucking name on it. There's nobody can say that's my money. I will mess you up. Now you wanna play this? Huh? Now your call. Your funeral, Jack. Bitch, 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 bitch. There's people out there that take thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. Where's my money, bitch? I found four cases of Dice Pepsi's beside the road with damn money in envelope. I made you my bitch. Okay, I'm not. I'm not gonna warn you again. Leave me the fuck alone.
Okay, five, four, three, two, one. I'm out of here. Biatch. These drama horse, these drama fucking cons, and I'm not talking, I'm not gonna generalize it, but there's a few. The fat ass fucking bombshell, fucking fraud shell, fucking dog shell, fucking piglet, fucking big brother, fucking punched in nose looking, Artie Lang nose looking fucking heifer. She has the nerve. She has the nerve. And then you have fucking Lisa Lynn, the drunken fucking flounder. You look like fucking Rod Stewart, fucking from the 80s, fucking big ass nose. Your eyes are like alien. You have a whole head alien head going on. You drunk ass bitch. You have no fucking shame. You literally pour yourself out for YouTube. Mark Terry apologized to me earlier on, jeez. Not today, say. Bombshell, you ugly ass bitch. You are but ugly. You are the lowest on the totem pole on here. You have the nerve to talk about anyone? Fucking jealous ass bitches who filter their fucking avatars up the gazoo. There is no fucking way that a person walks around with a fucking silicone mask. You fucking damn idiots. Like, you wanna slander me? I'm gonna drag you through the mud, bitch. I'm gonna drag you. I'm gonna drag you and your dog, bitch. Magda is a whole troll. She told me a bunch of bullshit about Nick. She wanted me to go after Nick, and what? Because I'm not once going after Nick, she's mad at me. I don't take lies like me. You can call me names, you can cuss me out, but you're not gonna lie with me and think you're gonna get away with it. Who's a fucking troll uh, spreading lies in your chat? If someone would come up here with a talking about your deceased father, I would fucking terminate the person. I would not let this happen. But you cannot give me the same respect, bitch. Let's go to fucking Lisa Lynn, the fucking whore. Like a fucking low life whore who literally whores herself out. Like you are, you are, but ugly too. Looking like fucking Rod Stewart and like fucking uh, David Bowie in the Labyrinth movie. You fucking bitch. And you have a lot of nerve. Drunk 24 7, pilled up, drunk, lying about people, turning on people. You are no friend. Why are you sitting over there at Mark Terry's when he, when he dragged your, your friend Rachella's child? You have no fucking loyalty. You are a piece of trash. That's what you are. Have you seen my mojo, baby? Shut the fuck up. No one wants to hear you. Oh, behave. It's probing time. Just a simple touch and it can set you free. We don't have to rush when you're alone with me. Oh, behave. You want me to donate the proceeds to you, is that what you're saying? You should, since I'm making you all this money. What do you guys think in the chat? Oh yeah, they're gonna say no, of course they're gonna say no. Why would they say no? Because they don't give a fuck about me, they want me destroyed. How much money do you think we this is? We want to make all the money for ourselves. Do you want me to give you money before you join the network? Cash money, dude. Someone said give it all to us. Yeah, you should be giving it all to me, because all you monsters out there make money on my name, and I can't even make money off my own name. How is that fair? Would you, would you and Rev say that, you know, like, you're good parents, but hey, people make mistakes? I have to be held on this super high standard where I have to be perfect and nothing can be out of place. All right. And you know what? Fuck that standard. I don't want your fucking stupid standards. Oh, my God. It's actually a good thing that their kids see that their parents fuck up and make mistakes. You know why? Because they learn from those mistakes. Somebody just brought up the sheets. Let's talk about that. Well, the sheets in the house uh, were very dirty. What, 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 what's your you said somebody was in there. So you think they fucked with the sheets? They change their bed sheets every week. I make sure of that. What was up with the cat, though? You, did you see all the cat uh, poop? I think they took a bag full of cat crap and just dumped it. I've heard them call CBS, stuff like that. Yeah. Police open up. They showed up at our door the first day we were there. And, and then the cops were called about Police five times since we've been here. And we've only been here for two fucking days. Some people are worried about about, about your children. Well, you know what? It's not their kids to worry about, now is it? I, I, I don't know, but like... You know, other people drinking off their ass in front of their kids. Oh my god. You guys should really shut the fuck up. Oh my god. Okay. How about that? Can you imagine Freckleface having sisters as cute as that? It's incredible. Sisters, sisters, there were never such devoted sisters. Never had to have a chaperone, no sir. I'm here to keep my eye on her. Caring, sharing. Every little thing that we are wearing When a certain gentleman arrived from Rome She wore 
wore the dress and I stayed home. All kinds of weather, we stick together, the same in the rain or sun. Two different faces, but in tight places, we think and we act as one. <laughs> Those who seen us know that not a thing could come between us. Many men have tried to split us up, but no one can. Lord, help the mister who comes between me and my sister. And Lord, help the sister who comes between me and my man. Coats went live. How interesting that's going to be to sit and watch him all drugged up on fucking energy drinks, sitting there hollering about, guess what? Elvis, Rosie, and Bergs. Every single stream, that's all he talks about. He wants to say he's not a drama whore, yet he, he sucks them all three of them fuckers off, too. For real. Piece of shit. But we already know you suck, tranny dick. <laughs> I don't believe him for one second. That he didn't know Lexa was a man from a mile of fucking way. That wasn't a chick with a pussy. Fucking who the fuck wants to sit and hear him talk for five or six hours in a van? And all Coates wants to talk about is how much better he is than everybody else. For real. How many times are we going to call people e-beggars before we get some more original insults? Because that shit, after years of hearing it, gets old. Who the fuck cares if you don't charge a membership for people to come in there and watch you rant? For real. Doped up on so much caffeine, you can't shut up You're talking a hundred miles a minute, not even taking a breath between sentences for God knows how long, for hours on end. And why did he have, oh my God, why did he have blue shop towels on the bed? What the fuck? There's nothing to clean on that bed with blue shop towels. He thought that was a chick. He claims to be a man with dignity. And he said he just had met this person and asked them for a ride and they wanted to come back to his hotel or whatever. He was going to fuck that person because he legit thought that was a woman. No! Because there's no way. I mean, there's blue shop towels, you know for wiping up the cum. No! The, you know, the two spurts that he could get out. <laughs> <laughs> With his height, no offense. And, uh, <laughs> you know, I mean, and now, I'm <laughs> new evidence has come to my attention, thanks to Daddy Carlo. What the fuck, slow down, what? Uh, that this motherfucker was looking down at the hard on in his, uh, what the fuck? What is, Little cocktail wiener, motherfucker. No! I really do miss your smile. The summer wind. Came blowing in from across the sea. It lingered there to touch your hair and walk with me. All summer long, we sang a song and then we strolled that golden sand. Two sweethearts and the summer wind Like painted kites, those days and nights They went flying by The world was new beneath a blue umbrella sky then softer than a piper man One day it called to you I lost you I lost 
adjust you to the summer wind. I don't care. Now I'm getting angry. You fucking hypocrite. Well, vlogger, if I'm so boring, then take your old ass and stream in front of five people. How about that? That's life. That's life. That's what all the people say. You whiny little bitch. You're riding high in April. Shot down in May. How about that? But I know I'm gonna change that tune. I owned his fucking ass. When I'm back on top, back on top in June. Take your old ass, your geriatric ass out of here, vlogger, and fucking stream in front of five to ten people and call it fucking walking down the beach and hello from the train and fuck you. I said that's life. That's life. And as funny as it may seem, some people get their kicks stomping on a dream. How does it feel that I fucking owned your fucking ass? You fucking wannabe alpha male got slapped around by a fucking alpha bitch. Like me or fucking not. For real. I've been a puppet, a pauper, a pirate, a poet, a pawn and a king. I've been up and down and over and out. And I know one thing. Each time I find myself laying flat on my face. Just pick myself up and get back in the race. You whiny little bitch. My bottom is greater than your bottom. I have the greatest bottom on the boys. Uh, oh, it's a long one, dude. It's still coming out. Oh, there it goes. It just broke loose. I shit my pants. I gotta get it all out. Oof. It ain't about you. Fuck you. Tino is getting very nervous. He's right next to me while I'm taking a dump. I got asthma. I got diabetes. I shit my pants. Fuck you. I don't know why I even took that chance. It ain't about you. You son of a motherfucker. Okay, so what? what? I got asthma. I got diabetes. What? I got asthma. It ain't about you. You call people's houses? Fuck you. Ah! You shit. You can fucking, you can fucking do, you can fuck, fuck you. You nasty son of a bitch. It ain't about you. You are nasty, nasty human being. You deserve every pain known to man. Fuck you. Coats. What the fuck are you doing, Coats? Gerald? Saying over and over, oh, if you go over to Anderson's, don't come in here blocking multiple people. Saying that, you know, you're on Melton John's side, you're on our side, and then you're over there kissing his ass. And then you're saying another time, Coates is like, anybody that goes over to Sig's, don't come over here. What a hypocrite fucking Coates is being, no? Man, I can't trust anybody on this fucking website. I mean, I mean, I'm shocked seeing Coates over there. Why is Coates over there? When Coates has been against the motherfucker, everybody's warned Coates about that motherfucker, Anderson Henderson. Yet Coates is over there sucking, he sucking his dick. I'm so shocked at Coates's behavior, Gerald's behavior. I'm shocked that Coates would lower himself to such. I tried to give Coates advice the other day. You know what, Coates? Keep putting people's names in your fucking titles. Rich Lake thinks it's Monkey Boy taking up the court. It's not Monkey Boy taking up the court. It's the state taking up the court. And Monkey Boy, no offense to you, buddy. Even if it's bad or good, the bad doesn't hurt your business the way you claim it hurt your business. And I'm not sticking up for Rich Lake. Oh, if so... Get that through your thick head, Monkey Boy, right away, okay? Rich Life deserves a second chance or another chance or anything because of the fact that Rich Life had done it so multiple times after people tried to help him. What you did to Monkey Boy was wrong, but what Monkey Boy did to you was wrong too. Yeah, he took your name and everything like that. 
Why don't you just mind your own fucking business, JP? You old battle act with your two flea bitten cats. <laughs> You hurt people for a living. You ruined their life. You nasty, nasty. I don't care. You son of a motherfucker. I hope you're happy. I was taking a bath Long about a Saturday night Baby Coxie It's time for your bath Time to get all clean You wanna have a nice Shiny hiney Big bang I saw the whole gang Dancing on my living room rug Good old bubbles Now Coxie baby You stop playing with your wee wee like that Or you'll go blind Yeah <laughs> Woo wee think I'm going to call the Chamber of Congress. I'm going to call, I'm going to call Missouri's uh, Bureau in the investigation up there. <coughs> and I'm going to tell them, I'm going to tell them that I'm being threatened by a person. <coughs> and I'm going to give them his real name. Oh yeah. I'll get the fucking FBI in on this shit if I have to. <coughs> Coats, 9100, coming at you. Awesome. As I was pulling into the Planet Fitness parking lot, I always drive by because I had my bike up at the bike rack locked up. Um, I go out and use the bike during the day. I've been doing some biking, and then I take it and lock it back up, and I go sometimes and do other stuff. What? My bike's gone. No! No bike. No! No bike. I, somebody stole my bike. I called 911. If you guys are in the St. Augustine area, um, and you see my bike, please contact the St. John's County uh, Sheriff's Department. I'm getting my bike back if I find it. Even if I have to get into a fist fight. Fuck them hoes. That girl never showed up. I waited and waited and waited and that girl never showed up. Pulled the no-show. But I did meet her about one hour ago. She never saw it coming. I pulled in with my van and I looked over in front of Walmart. This girl is freaking a drug addict. That's all. A drug addict and a whore. <laughs> but you know what? A thief will always come back around. And if I catch, if I catch, if I go out and buy another fucking bike and I catch the motherfucker. Why? Who the fuck are you screaming at? Because I'm probably never going to get my fucking bike back because there's a bunch of fucking assholes around here that know I'm nothing but steal. Okay, but listen, at the end of the day, bro, you don't fucking know me. Who the fuck are you raising your voice to? Because I ain't take shit with no fucking ass. And I thus count on you to help me. Coats, 9100, coming at you. Awesome, nigga. I haven't had a lot of fucking sleep since I lost my fucking, my bike was stolen. What? By these two fucking assholes. I'm done looking for the bike, it's over. There's nothing else I can do. I've, I've searched and searched and... Well, I'm...
fucking asshole. They're nothing but a bunch of fucking... The world would be a much better place if these fucking assholes didn't live. They're fucking dead. They come out at night. I got even with them, motherfuckers. No, I won't back down. But I got even with them. Let's just say that. And we'll leave it at that. Remember, I knew where their camp was. And I knew where they camped out in the woods. I've been so fucking pissed off. I haven't fucking didn't want to fucking eat. Been just drinking my rock star and lots of it. You can stand me up at the gates of hell, but I won't back down. I got even with those motherfuckers. Yes, I fucking did get even with them. And I guarantee it, when they went back to their little camp, that somebody was up in flames. What the fuck? No! You're not like most men on here that's a bitch boy all the time. But I get shit on, and I don't even know what I'm doing wrong. Let me tell you something real motherfucking quick, all right? Come on, bitch, bring it over, bitch. I'm not kidding you, and I'm gonna fuck you up. You got it? I'm not surprised, not everything lasts. I've broken my heart so many times, I stopped keeping track. Talk myself in, I talk myself out. I get all worked up, then I let myself down. I tried so very hard not to lose it. I came up with a million excuses. I thought I thought of every possibility And I know someday that it'll all turn out You'll make me work so we can work to work it out And I promise you, kid, that I'll get so much more than I get I just haven't met you yet I talk to him all the time I don't see what's wrong with that I'm not leading him on Mary Ann and I was like, well, come on over. I might have to wait. I'll never give up. I guess it's half time and, and the other half's luck. Wherever you are, whenever it's right, you'll come out of nowhere and into my life. And I know that we can be so amazing. And baby, your love is going to change me. And now I can see every possibility. I know that it'll all turn out You'll make me work so we can work to work it out And I promise you, kid I get so much more than I get I just haven't met you yet well, I got my van at a safe place Look at these motherfuckers Hey, it's, it's, it's 12.25 A.M. in the morning it's In the morning they just came in and took this whole fucking parking lot right over. Loud music, smoke, look at the smoke going through the air. Fuck you, you cocksucker! Fucking bitch! I'll fucking beat your fucking ass! Look at this fucking shit. Hashtag, catch that motherfucker. They just took that whole thing over, like, probably 70 people over there. They're out rallying, or they're gang members or something. Look at this fucking shit, I can't believe it. Spinning the tires, music going full blast. Big tough guys, huh? Yeah, spin your tires, motherfuckers. This is Joe Dinah, C-O-M. Out there in TV land. Well, what came first? The chicken or the egg? It sure is a hell of a lot of chickens out there right now. Like a daggum chicken with his head chopped off. But just letting y'all know, man, there's a hell of a lot of chickens out there. Well, like I always say, first your money and definitely your clothes. Come on, man! I got some sleep today that I needed. Things were going great till the other night. And, uh, you know, I could've got shot. New York City rats coming up out of a sewer drain just as fast as they can. Start spreading the news. I'm leaving today. I want to be a part of it. New York, New York. Mr. Harvey De Niro, bam, just like that. 
You crazy boy. But I ain't spinning my fucking tires around, destroying the property. Now hold on, boy. I come in peace. I want a pair of a hatchet. You can think what you want. Nice boy, but doesn't listen to a word you say. Dickhead, fucking idiot. Get this fucking idiot out of here. You're not looking at me, boy. Get out of here. Get this fucking cocksucker out of here. Pay attention when I'm talking to you, boy. I say I'm going to take you out to the woods and learn you about scouting and woodcraft. So fucking beat it. That's a nerve. You look like two miles of bad road. I don't need your kind in here. Go. I say go away, boy. You bother me. One more time. And you're out of here. That's a joke, boy. You missed it. Bam. Just like that. You gotta, I say you gotta keep on your toes. Toes, that is. Bye.